You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. Go there if you want the truth. If you want to pay your therapist hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of your life to lie to you and beat around the bush and be a pussy. You can do that or you can go to assholeconsulting.com or we'll just like get to the nub. Uh, this is a short request. I'm not going to dilly dather anymore. Hi, Aaron. In one of your previous videos, you mentioned that a client wanted a video on how the BLS lies in their statistics about employment, job growth, and other metrics on their website. Since that client did not follow through with the payment, I would like to take you up on that offer, name your price, and make the video about the BLS's lies, damn lies, and statistics. Best regards, Ray. Well, the BLS is not lying, um, and by already now, you could see why the BLS is not lying. It's just they're, they're, this is the nature of economics. So let me explain what Ray is talking about. There is some guy, I forget who, I tried to look it up, I don't care, I'm busy having fun over in New Mexico in the American West riding my motorcycle. And basically what he was saying is, holy shit, look at all these STEM degrees that everyone's telling us to go to STEM, 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 the STEMiest STEMists that ever STEMmed. And when you look at the growth rate, man, (laughs) there's only going to be like 300 jobs, man. Now, I understand. <clears throat> Many of you have majored in engineering. You've gone that route and you're having trouble finding jobs. That's called the real world. I personally look at starting salaries because that is a billion, well, maybe not a billion, at least millions, definitely thousands of different variables, calculations, and human factors in the world economy, the world, society, all that. Going into this price, into this singular number, this is why you should appreciate free markets because of pricing. Everyone's like, oh, what's so big about pricing? Well, pricing tells you things. It's like an enormous amount of data coming into this one succinct number. And when you see some dipshit broad that majored in women's studies making 25 grand a year and a chemical engineer making 60 grand a year, that tells you a lot of things. It's the culmination of all the variables and statistics <coughs> excuse me, that go into determining whether or not private individuals with money, not government, is, are, they are going to forfeit over this money to pay this individual their wage. So, I personally, as an economist, I put more faith than anything else into starting salaries, median salaries, etc., with all the ups and downs. Because that is the number one bit of empirical evidence and data that tells you the value of a particular degree or education. Now, whoever this was that put this video together, he what he was doing is going to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And rightly so. He had no malicious intent. And he looked at uh, different... For- the Bureau of Labor Statistics will do uh, two things primarily when looking at different types of jobs. It will say, all right, here is the median and starting salaries. Here's what the salaries look like. But here is what the BLS forecasts in terms of growth in these jobs. And then it will list some basic statistics saying how many jobs there are currently now. We take a look at the growth rate, and they survey and sample all these different people in the industry. And therefore, what kind of growth, based on hiring expectations, based on their methodology, when they survey people in the industry, how many new jobs can we expect to be entering uh, the field? Therefore, what is the demand for uh, you know, a chemical engineer or a dentist or a dental assistant or a mechanic? And so what he did and what a lot of you are concerned about is the growth. And when you look at like chemical engineer, electrical engineer, all these STEM fields, the expected growth is kind of paltry. It's all like, you know, 1Z, 2Z percent, 3Z, 4Z on good. Sometimes it goes down, and then everyone freaks. And then this guy did the math. Like, well, there, he did very simple mathematics. Well, there are currently 100,000 jobs in this industry. The BLS only expects 1% growth. That's only 1,000 other jobs. And when you look at how many people are majoring in it, there are going to be no people, no jobs. It's the good jobs. 
And uh, he's 100% right. Like I said, this guy's not malicious. He's just trying to help people out. Here's the problem. And this is where you real men and women of STEM, you real people, the people with the hard skills and the hard degrees and the hard uh, assets, run into dipshit economists over at the Bureau of Labor Statistics. If you haven't figured it out by now, you're seeing the chart already and you're seeing how bad economists are, particularly the Bureau of Labor Statistics, how bad they are at doing their job and that's supposed to be predicting the future, which I admit the reason I am the greatest economist in the world is because I admit right up front, I can't predict the future. Don't ask me to predict the future. And this is why the Bureau of Labor Statistics... Uh, their forecasts of growth in these particular job industries are completely worthless. And then you see the data and the statistics right here instead of my pretty face. That's why I put this this image up, <clears throat> this chart, instead of me. Because there's your answer. Economists are horrible at their job. Economists have no value except to maybe do a post, 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 post game analysis show they should have threw the ball more and scored more points. Oh, what do you think, Jim? I think your defense should have prevented more people from scoring more points. Well, holy fucking whip dickity suck my dick whippity do. Let's go award Paul Krugman and the other small penis faggots out there their fucking degrees. Um, and that's that's and not you guys already know why. You shouldn't worry about it. And it's not lies and statistics. I shouldn't be so hard on economists. They try their best. Go look up the, the methodology, which I did, as to how economists go and forecast these, these you know expectations of future demand. of different. But the problem is that it's pointless. The economy constantly changes. I think if I remember the data correctly, it's 2002 to 2012. Well, we had the Bakken oil field boom. I, honest to God, no one should really major in economics. I mean, it should just really be a subfield in the philosophy department to tell you what, what happened, or history. I guess it would be history and accounting. Where history and accounting meet, that's where economics is because we account for what happened economically to his, uh, to society. But these these precious, worthless Pharisees, to think that they can tell, they can look in their crystal ball and tell you what's going to happen. No, and this is evidenced by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Horrible, extra emphasis on whore with gonorrhea, syphilis, AIDS, gonosyphilis, AIDS, as uh, the great Saint Terence Pop says. Uh, that's why you can't trust the BLS statistic. Now they're trying their best. Not that all economists go out and try to be evil, uh, but the, they're not lies in statistics. They're just statistics. They're the best they could, but the best is not good enough. Econ- and this shows you where, where economics should Economics should be a post-game analysis show, if that. Um, and another reason none of you should major in economics. But that's the truth. It's just it's a, a post-game analysis. What happened? I mean, it's, hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh, but looking forward, it's absolute shit. So don't even bother with economics. But anyway, so that that's the uh, that's the counter to this guy's video. I guess it's got more views than the average view or the average bear. Um, but the answer is is that the, the when the BLS comes out with we forecast the the demand to grow by seven percent, I can almost guarantee you it won't be seven percent. And and not by any fault or fraud uh, by the economists over the BLS. It's just that's the nature of economics. That's the nature of humanity. You are a fool. Okay, let's put it this way. The government and the taxpayers are foolish to be paying these economists their salaries. That much is true. Now, these economists are trying their best, but we should just cut the funding to that because these guys don't know shit. I don't know if you noticed, but the economy has slowed down a tad. <laughs> and all the money we spend at the Federal Reserve and the Bureau of Labor Statistics, I mean, it's, oh, we think this, we think that. All of you, and I want all of you economists who think you actually have a real fucking job, and that's a minority of you. I think most of you do deep down inside know it's bullshit. But for those of you that think you're legitimate, real professionals, you may kindly line up, take a number, pay a $10 commission to suck my fucking... Are they turning gray? Gray pube dick? Not yet. It's not there. I am actually... You hear that? That is my belt buckle. Uh, you can all line up to suck my not-yet-to-be-gray-pube-dick 
Uh, and you ought to be ashamed of yourselves because you guys don't know jack fucking shit. You're not real. You're not real professionals. Just a bit. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. You're not real professionals. Go to fuck back to Cornell, the University of Chicago, or whatever the fuck. Just, just shut the fuck up. Go study some Austrian economics. They're the only real legitimate economists. Oh, he said Austrian. Oh my God, they're so fucking stupid. No, they're the ones that keep getting proven right. You can all have gay sex with Paul Krugman and his beard. You guys like get off on his beard. He just has such a nice beard. He's just so beardy. And you can also have gay sex with Janet Yellen because she's not a woman. It's a man. Uh, but yeah, anyway, getting more serious. No, that's that's the re- don't worry about what the the forecasted growth is. I have more faith in the free market and the labor market specifically, and that is what are they paying now? And here's the thing. Let's just be honest about this. It's math and it's rigor and it's discipline and it's hard and it's it's um, it's suffering. Are you willing to go and put forth? The effort to learn the hard skills such as programming, surgery, mechanical engineering, engineering of any type. And you can rely on the lazy fucks of America to not major in that shit. You can. And maybe if you put forth the effort into STEM and math and engineering and like that year, like everyone's like, everyone got their tits in a bottle. Eric Cleary said to go to the Balkan oil field. And now the Bakken oil field collapsed. That's yes, because the price of oil collapsed. But at the time, that made sense. But don't tell me you didn't learn some skills that couldn't be transferable to another industry. You know, As opposed to an English major or a women's studies major or my dick is black major. I just call it African American studies for all of you. Actually, they're getting a little bit wise. I think uh, a lot of the uh, African Americans are starting to realize, hey, what the fuck does this do for me? Do I just pay other... Uncle Tom's, like genuine Uncle Tom's, like $100,000 with my tuition money uh, to study how I'm oppressed. How does that exactly get me ahead? So there is some self-respecting blacks starting to make some progress in that way. Um, Anyway, uh, yeah, you guys aren't going to make any money, but if you actually put forth the effort, maybe that year the computer programming market collapses, don't fool. Maybe that year... uh, Petroleum collapses, which happened. Uh, but after a year of recovery, are you going like, oh, I can repurpose this to chemical engineering, electrical engineering, or, you know, the people who work real jobs and study really hard and then just like go study their vagina like women's studies majors did? You're, you're going to do well. You're going to do well. So I know all of you are oh, it's in the major in STEM and I can't find it. Just stop being a pussy. Stop whining and complaining. You're infinitely better off than the pathetic fucking inferior human that decided to major in English. Right? Education, guys, I want to help the children. My precious. Give me my government precious. My three months off, my precious. Those guys are fucking evil. Holy shit, are those fucking education majors evil. All right, that's enough. All right. Anyway, assholeconsulting.com. Go there. Get wise. Pay me money, and I'm not even joking, guys. You pay me money, you pay me the 25 bucks for a meal. On average, on average, had some fucking idiots this past week just send me money like, I want this. Uh, you don't understand. And they send me a fucking eight-page email like, yeah, you don't understand how this works. Did you follow the fucking instructions at Asshole Consulting? No, you didn't. Because you just heard me say, yeah, on average, it costs on average. You ignored the on average, that prepositional phrase. Is that correct? I don't know. I flunked out of seventh grade English. You didn't pay attention. Say, on average, it costs $25 for an email, $35 for a video. But if you're a typical millennial fuck and you want to, like, you know, have your ego and your emotions masturbated, and well, then it's going to cost you $300 if you send me an eight page email. But if you want the sharp, quick, concise, succinct, geometrically precise, the geo satellite sending the ICBMs there right within one square inch of the target, please write a concise email. Go to assholeconsulting.com. Send me that precise email. And uh, it actually could go down. It could go down to $20 for an email and $30 for a video. All right, that's it. We'll see you kids later.